On a cold winter's day, there's nothing better than a warm bowl of this easy tomato soup. Hi, you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you want to try out recipes that turn out right every time, then go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit on that bell icon, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to go in with one kilogram of tomatoes. And I've gone in with the tomatoes on the wine because they're nice and red. Just going to put our knife inside and take off the center stem that's there. And I'm going to cut the tomato up into smaller pieces. We're going to cut up into smaller bits just to help it cook faster. When cutting tomatoes, it's always helpful to use a serrated knife. It gives you a cleaner and sharper cut. When picking tomatoes, if you're not able to get tomatoes on the wine, make sure that the tomatoes are ripe and nice and red because that's going to give the color to your tomato soup. And if you can't get your hands on some nice, fresh, ripe tomatoes, you can always substitute by using canned tomatoes. So once you've chopped up the tomatoes, it should equal to about five cups. And now let's transfer them into a bowl so that we can start chopping up the onion. And we're going to go in with one white sweet onion and we're going to finally chop it up. Now here's a little hack that I've learned, is that if you keep the root on and chop it, it prevents you from crying. Looks like it works and still smiling, not a tear. And this is going to be about two cups of chopped onions. Just going to transfer it to a bowl. And for some warm earthy flavors, we're going to go in with six garlic cloves. And let's just give them a rough chop. So you're going to cut off one end and then give it a smash. And there, the skin comes out so easily. Just going to give them a rough chop. You don't have to worry about it being chopped fine because everything is going to get blended smooth. And now that we have everything ready, let's go over to the stove and bring our soup together. To a heated heavy bottom pot, we're going to add one third cup of unsalted butter, which is approximately 75 grams. And to that, we're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. Just going to wait till the butter melts down. The butter is going to give the soup a ton of flavor and the oil is going to prevent the butter from burning. Now that the butter has melted, we're going to toss in the onions. I'm just going to saute this till the onions begin to sweat a bit. Now this should take about five minutes or so. The onions give the soup a lot of body and also the sweetness of the onions is going to add to the flavor. The onions are looking good, so now let's toss in the garlic. And we're tossing in the garlic after the onions so that the garlic does not burn. Now let's saute this and allow the garlic to cook till it loses its raw flavor. That should take about another two or three minutes. Okay, you can get that lovely aroma from the garlic, which means that it has fried well and lost its raw flavor. So now let's add in the tomatoes. And we're going to flavor our soup with two stalks of thyme leaves. We're just going to pull them and put them in. You could also season it with fresh basil if you preferred. To cut the tartness of the tomatoes just a tad, we're going to add one tablespoon of sugar. And for a little bit of a kick, we're going to add half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and half a teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. And now to bring out all the flavors, we're going to add some salt. And you can add salt to taste. We're just going to go in with a little less than half a teaspoon to start with. And now my secret ingredient, we're going to add quarter cup of tomato ketchup. And this gives a lot of flavor to the tomato soup. Let's give this a quick stir before we add in three and a half cups of chicken broth. Now you could go in with vegetable broth or even just plain water, but I like to add in the chicken broth just for an added flavor. We're going to keep our stove on medium heat and we're going to allow it to simmer open without the lid on for 45 minutes. Occasionally you want to keep an eye on it and just give it a stir. Our soup mix is now looking ready. It's time to take it off the heat and allow it to cool just a bit before we puree it into a smooth soup. And in the meantime, let's cut up some bread to make some lovely grilled cheese sandwiches to go along with. 
and I'm going in with the sourdough bread because it's got that nice crispy crust. And I'm going to go in for some nice thick slices for the sandwich. And now we're likely going to butter both the slices on both the sides. This makes such an amazing comfort food during a cold winter's day. I just cannot wait to give this a taste. And we're going to go in with a mix of cheeses. First we're going to go in with some cheddar. And to that we're going to add some mozzarella. And this gives that nice cheese pull. and a couple of slices of Havrati cheese. Just going to spread it all around. I'm going to put the Havrati cheese right on the top. And now we'll place the other slice on the top and keep the grilled cheese sandwich aside while we go and finish off the soup. The soup mix is now cooled. Let's put it into the blender and blend it into a smooth soup. And now we're just going to ladle it into the jar. It's got an amazing aroma right now. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. You could even use an immersion blender to puree it. And that way this would become a one pot dish. We're going to head and puree it in two batches. And this is where the magic happens. I just rinse out the pot so that we don't have any leftover onion bits inside. Now we're going to pour in a smooth, luscious tomato soup. Now if you wanted, you could leave it a little chunky. And if you wanted to make sure it was really smooth, you could even pass it through a sieve. We're going to warm up our soup just a little bit. And look at that luscious, thick soup that we have got. Let's give it a taste and check whether we need to add any salt or pepper to it. Mmm, I think it's just perfect. And it has that little kick from the cayenne pepper. Our soup has come to a light simmer. So now it's time to switch off the heat. And now we're going to add quarter cup of heavy cream to it. And we're going to add a quarter cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Now let's give this a quick stir and let it all blend well together. Wow, aren't you waiting to give this a taste? Let's grill up our cheese sandwich and get ready to eat. Just gonna give it a slight press. We want those grill marks on our sandwich. Let's flip it and grill it on the other side. And now we're gonna ladle our soup into a bowl, garnish it with some fresh cream, Parmesan cheese, and top it with fresh basil. And not forgetting to plate our grilled cheese, Look at that cheese bowl. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And now it's time to give our tomato soup a taste. Wow, I can't wait. So creamy. Mm. It's absolutely delicious. It's so smooth and creamy. And I love that little hint of spice that you get from the cayenne pepper. I'm telling you, you're going to want to try this recipe out this winter. And for the full written recipe, don't forget, hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon. I'm going to get the bread a taste too. Wow, all that cheesy goodness.